welcome back. I hope you're all doing well and having a lovely day. It's so hot here today. I am sweltering, but finally we've got some sunny weather here in the UK, so I'm not complaining at all. And it's perfect actually, because today I thought I would show you everything that I'm packing in Archie's carry-on to go on the plane so that we can go on holiday in a few weeks' time. So I have mentioned recently that we have never been on an aeroplane with the boys before and I'm slightly terrified so I'm in no way an expert in this and I think when I get back I might do some like tips and tricks and what worked for us and what didn't but I'm not really any in any position to do that at the moment so what I've done is I've really taken advice from some of my fellow YouTuber mummy friends I have watched Emily Norris's videos, Rebecca Meldrum's videos Katie Ellison who is Mummy Daddy Me. I will link all of their channels and their videos below because I can't really take credit for all of these ideas in this video. Um, I've definitely taken a lot of advice from other people um, but I love those girls anyway so please go and give them a watch and a follow if you aren't already subscribed. Um, and yeah from that I've just been able to put together what I think is going to be a really great plain bag for Archie. Elliot's going to be slightly different. I don't think I'll do a video on his because it's pretty much his baby bag with a few extra toys and um, snacks in it so that's not as interesting but yeah I'm going to go through this I think it's very sort of gender neutral I mean some of the things in it are a bit boyish but you could just obviously change it to girly although we don't gender stereotype here do we so you know girls can have Paw Patrol and boys can have Barbie whatever it doesn't really matter so anyway I'm going to stop rambling on and get straight into it so I have two plain bag carry-on options so this one is a Kath Kids and Dinosaur bag I love this bag um, these bags are amazing they, they're more expensive but they're quality and the length of time they last he's had this for years um, so this would just be a really good option or we also have this Buzz Lightyear one which he can pull along more like a little suitcase on wheels so really they're very similar whoa, similar sizes so let me know do you think it's easier for a, for a three and a half year old to have a bag that he can pull along even though he'll probably do that for about two minutes and then we'll be pulling it along or a rucksack which again he'll probably want to have on his back for about two minutes and then we'll be carrying it so it doesn't really matter I don't think but these are our bag options anyway so I recently popped into Poundland and I actually got everything bar one thing from there which I was really pleased with I'm going to be doing another Poundland haul so don't worry have a completely different one that doesn't involve all of this stuff um, that's coming soon but I'm going to show you all of the bits that I either already had or that are obviously not from the pound shop that are going in there and then I'll go on to show all of these things so the first thing that we're going to be taking is an iPad. So this is my iPad mini. Um, he has this case which we put it in when he uses it. So this will be going in there basically. Um, so it's just an iPad mini. It's going to be loaded with games and movies that we've downloaded on Netflix or Amazon Prime or anything like that, even on iPad iTunes store whatever it's called um, and they will be on that so I think that is crucial along with the charger and also it will of course be fully charged which will keep him entertained I mean I know this is only a three hour flight but I feel like that could feel like a very long time with a three year old and a ten month old so very important that we take those we also have some headphones which we recently got from Amazon they're by the brand Lil Gadgets and they are child headphones so they're like safe for him to use they only go up to a certain decibel um, and they're blue I think he'll really like them he's already been wearing them I've still got the label on them but um, these are perfect for him and they are corded um, I don't think they're wireless you have to have the cord in but that's fine I'll link these on Amazon below because I think they were really reasonable Ricky bought them but I think they're a really good value. I also packed him his sunglasses just to have in there because he loves wearing them so he'll probably want to wear them on the plane, off the plane and everything so I thought he could just have them. Another thing that I recently bought that wasn't from the pound shop which I thought would be perfect for this is um, the Crayola Colour Wonder Mess Free Colouring. So this comes with like literally 15 to 20 um, different colouring pages for him to colour and then he's had these before it comes with about five different pens you can colour them in but they only work on this paper so they're not going to go everywhere so I thought that was really really important like the thought of him having colouring pens all over the plane kind of fills me with horror so we got that okay I say that but then I'm totally contradicting myself by buying him a normal colouring book. These ones are normally £6.49, they were down to £4.49 so they are expensive for what they are um, 
but this is just a normal colouring book for a pound. This is actually a colour with me one, so you can copy the colours, which I thought was really good. Um, but what I've done is I've got this pack of pens in this really nice little, like, plastic pencil case um, and I also got a pack of 48 small colouring pencils so I think what I'm going to do is take the pens out, we'll use those at home, put the pencils in and then he can colour in with the pencils and then at least they won't go everywhere, I mean there may be 48 pencils flying about on the plane floor but they won't be pen everywhere so obviously these were all a pound each he loves drawing so i think that will keep him entertained for a bit i also found him a paw patrol notebook with chase on it and these transformers bubble stickers so he still finds stickers quite hard to peel off but these bubble ones obviously stick out so they're really easy to peel off so he'll have great fun sticking those in the notebook and he'll just draw his own little pictures in there as well so hopefully that and the ipad will keep him entertained for a lot of the journey i also picked up this which i thought was so cute it is dino dominoes now of course it's a pound why do i always say that it's obviously a pound um although not everything in the pound shop is a pound so maybe i should say um but yes these are dino dominoes dominoes i haven't opened them yet but i'm assuming you have to match the the dinosaurs up just like dominoes but it's going to be easier for him because it's pictures and not the amount of dots so i thought that could be really cute to play on the little trays that you have so got him that and then i also got him four little lego fake lego fego um action figures um oh they're there and I just thought these would be really cute again to keep him entertained. I might wrap this up and he can unwrap it. That's another thing that we've been advised and a tip we've had for Elliot and Archie is to wrap things up because opening them takes a while and it's just a fun process and you can bribe them with them. But I just think with Elliot we could even take some toys he already has, wrap them up and then pulling off the paper will be the funnest part. I also found this really cute little neck pillow. It's so, so soft. It kind of looks child size, although I suppose, no, it would be fine for an adult as well. Um, but I just loved it, and the fact that it has a little clip on it, I thought this was perfect, because I wasn't going to get one, because I thought it would take up too much room in the plain bag. But this you can just clip on the side, so it's absolutely perfect. So then, I went in on the blind bag situation, because they had some good options in the pound shop, which surprised me. I thought I'd have to get some from, like, Smith's or somewhere like that, or Amazon, but the pound shop came up trumps so i got him a trolls one he's not mega fussed on trolls but he will like this he does love like the fluffy hair so i think he will like that and then i found him this yokai watch which i'm assuming is just a little watch that you put on he loves anything you can put on his wrist and pretend it's some kind of like device that he can like shoot baddies with and things like he will love this so that's another one that um there's all different ones to collect and then i found mashems in at the pound shop now i think these are probably like old line ones because they had they only had guardians of the galaxy and finding nemo but he loves finding nemo and he he always gravitates towards these ones so in the smiths they were 349 but obviously i found them for a pound each so i got him one for now and then i'll probably take two on the plane um which i think he'll really really love opening and then i also got some snacks so anyone that's kind of like against giving their kids sweets then you're probably going to hate me right now um obviously he's not getting all of these but they come in quite large packs so they'll just be good to have in our room for the rest of the holiday or even bring home with us on the plane back because obviously Oh my god, I need to keep him entertained on the plane on the way home. <laughs> Why am I just realising this now? Okay, there may be some more stuff added to a secret plane bag. Okay. So definitely a lot of this will be kept for the plane ride home. So I got some Mauam strips. So he'll have a few of those in his bag. I'm going to put all these in a little lunchbox type of thing and then just give him bits. I'm not going to let him have free reign. So we'll have a couple of these. And then I got some chub chub lollies, basically for all of us because I've been told these are good for your ears popping and stuff or chewing gum. Obviously the boys can't chew gum, um, but Archie could have a lolly. So that's a good idea. I got rainbow drops, again, for all of us just to have a snack. I've loved these since I was a kid. Um, and um, I'm just going to let him have one pack of those. I got some crispy rolls. Chocolate probably isn't the best idea, but I really like these. If they melt, then that's a bit of an issue if it's really hot. But anyway, I might put them in, I might not. 
and then I also got a pack of Haribo. So he's probably gonna go crazy. So yeah, don't know if it's the best idea, but I'll mix this in with a few like kids crisp snacks and like OT fruity bars and stuff, and it won't seem as much. And it's just kind of there as backup. I'm not just gonna be like forcing them on him every two minutes. So that's everything I'm thinking of taking. If you have any other advice or tips on either things to take, things to do, just general advice, Friendly advice I am so up for, so please leave it in the comments below. You'll be helping me out so much. Um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful if you're thinking about what to pack for your kids on a plane. And like I said, there'll be more videos linked below to some of my friends that have made some amazing ones. So thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you very soon. Bye! <laughs>